Oh, four stars. Uh, okay, that didn't last long. So, did I lose the whole mission? What? How did I lose the whole mission? What do you want, Pilstein? Uh, hook you up with free materials, huh? Wait, did it just get faster? How much yeah. time do we have left? You can at least tell me that much. I can't see the fucking display. Okay, I'm just cutting it for you guys, so. It was a fucking bomb! Curse that balloon, fucker! Never trust the cloud! Never! Speaking of balloons, let's blow! Okay, so it's obvious. Stay out of the police. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a part of the mission. I see. Quick, find a place to hide! Standard GTA trick, stay on the beach. If I keep passing cops on the boardwalk. And there's a gang. Find some cover before they see you again. Uh, but where? Like. There's cops everywhere. Phew! I think the chase is over. Oh. I have no idea how I made that, but good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, no. Okay, I have been caught hitting someone over. I forgot about that part. Will be served. <laughs> I just keep Find knocking some people cover over. They see you be again. I'm a homeless bum with half a brain. Help me. Have some mercy. Find some cover before they see you again. Ah, uh, finding cover. Oh, I should have gone down the tunnel. Uh, Time to use non-lethal force. Passing another cop. Si I'm gonna bust your ass. Oh man, I should have turned left in there. Okay, up here. This should Don't be good. Don't let them see you. Decide out here. Just wait until they don't see me. Oh no, there's one right behind me. Uh, my controller, no. Or that was just probably just me being clumsy. Stop in the name of the law. I say controller, but I mean keyboard. I see that you can play this game with a controller, but it's a keyboard now. Will be Quick, find a place to hide! Speaking of which, I think this game would be great with a controller. Phew! I think the chase is over. Okay, they don't see me through the fence. Huh? All right. I guess I was lucky. Time to eat. I don't know if it's just me, or he, does he get hungry and thirsty more often than uh, a regular person? Well, the time moves faster, so I suppose. A 
bag of crumpled package. That can't be worth it. I still don't know what the trash is worth. I mean, now that, wait, let's have a look at this. Increases your chances of getting more. Uh, increase your, yeah, let's get, yeah. I'd like that. Making more money. Here you go. Over a dollar? Okay. I guess it is making a difference. Is that a dollar and a half? Try our ultimate burger, the ultimate solution to hunger. Okay. You'll come back. There's no escape from ultimate burger. We'll see about that. It's just a bit pricey. Happy to help. I mean, I don't need a full, I don't need a full meal now. Whiskey, okay. So that brings up health and thirst, huh? Booze brings up health and thirst, quite substantially. Uh, it's funny what it says. This wine is so cheap it doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even have a label. It's the vodka's moonshine with a little bit of with a drop of lemon. Uh, the beer's not too bad either. Seventy percent thirst. Here's your change. Enjoy. Cigarettes. Painkillers. Painkillers in a in a kiosk. Enjoy your day. Well, that kiosk is just for one thing and one thing only. That's for sure. That's just for getting messed up. Here you go. Not interested. Now, right, here's the clown. That was bombastic. It's time for me to fulfill my part of the bargain. I installed a recycling box in your face. See if it works. Simply throw junk in there, and I'll recycle it and provide you with raw building material. Okay. some free additional materials and make sure you store them somewhere so they're easily available for construction work. okay so we get like scraps yeah 10 scraps Still not exactly sure what all this collecting uh, materials is about. Oh, so the build zone is. Wait, where did it go? Isn't this the build zone? This little alley here? Tab. Tab. Oh!
And that was the building menu. Well, that chicken coop is not looking good. Uh, pigeon coop. Um, so how do I repair it? Utility, cooking, construction, decoration. Dude, I don't even know. Recycling bin, that's what we have. Oh, here's the workbench. Okay. Yeah. So that's numero uno in any survival game. Great! You should still have enough materials to create a simple repair kit. Okay, so now I can make repair kits. What? Where, where did it go? Hold it in front of the damage part and use it to make it, okay? Now, take the repair kit and use it on the broken pigeon coop. Uh, stored in Carl, okay. So, oh, it's just damage 10, 240 out of 250, okay. Uh, yeah, the building uh, controls are a little confusing. Okay, and then it's R to pick it up. That's, um, I don't know why you would have to press R to pick it up. Boom! Easy! Time for me to blow. Remember that you can visit my place to buy rare material. I might even give you some in exchange for more uh, gift delivery. Uh, he would, wait. Good job, pal. I didn't like the part where I was a living bomb, but I am glad that it worked out in the end. The creeps are in danger. Meet me as soon as possible. Your trusty spy, Bugsy. That doesn't sound good. We should pay our spy a visit right away. I'm down with that. Let's give it a go. Let's just see what else I can upgrade. Do I want better health? Have more HP? Or should I continue with resources? Yeah. Building better tools. Decrease the material cost. Yeah. Because now that I can build a base here, I want to prioritize that. Let's just see about... Um, uh, it's like in the morning anyway. I guess an hour. An hour to sleep would, would be fine. Oh, I love this song. It's got this kind of like ska twang. Oh, nice. So, <clears throat> survival, survival. You know. Let's see. 
I just want to make some materials here. Uh, dude, you gotta take this away, yeah. What? It won't recycle tires? Wait, so what can you use tires for? Will this work? What? It won't recycle a plastic bucket? So what should I do with the buckets? I guess that guano is for fertilizing? Oh, okay. It'll just shred a saucer, but a pan. What about this bottle here? Hi, idiot. You gotta remove the... I gotta take away this... <laughs> Got it. Yeah, all the extra buttons when you go into build mode and everything else, there's all kinds of other buttons. Cool. Uh, every game takes its uh, getting used to, you know. Okay, let me just organize this over here. Let's have all the growing stuff down there to the right. And let's keep construction stuff organized on one side here. Stuff! So, okay. We're good to go. Just a little organizing. I gotta keep my inventory clear for this uh, mission over here. Let's uh, be ready to beg. Let's see who's a friendly soul today. Hopefully, that's enough. I mean, if I can get over ten dollars. Ooh, she was nice. Uh, just a moment. There you go. Okay, we're getting above uh, $10 here. We're already at 11 almost 12 Okay. That's a promising new day. And look, I got a sandwich. Oh, an expired bread. Well, at least I don't have to eat the expired breads in, in real life. Well, to be frank, I really, I really am looking at this as a potential, oh, that looks like a rich street. Every bit helps, right? Oh, she sounds junk. That's that, that's that uh, opiate voice. Oh, you poor unfortunate soul. When you hear people on Oxycontin and stuff like that, and heroin and the old days, you had that voice, you had that, uh, I'm sorry, I can't really help you, new man. <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, I joke around. I mean, I'm always... I'm always ebbing and flowing somewhere in between, like, mm, apple. Buy yourself something to eat. Ah, uh, thanks, dude. Thanks. So I'm like always ebbing and flowing in between honesty and joking around, but that's just the way I am. 
Uh, it's too big of a chapter to explain why that is. Every bit helps, right? Let's just say it's because it of be? how how rudderless my life has been. So I don't have to be like your change. stuck in any one. Thank you. Come again. You know. You don't stuck. deserve anything. Oh, jeez. I don't have to be stuck in a train of thought, you know. So that's why I'm like ebbing and flowing in between reality and uh, and just joking around. And and I'm kind of like the truth is everything in between. But really, work has been hard lately. Just don't drink it away, okay? We'll see about that. Okay, let's see what the next mission is. You know the drill. Keep your distance and look away. Yeah, yeah. We got your message. What's going on? Have you noticed that the streets are full of bugs, but the creeps are nowhere to be seen? Yeah, and we're just better at hiding. I'm afraid that's not the case. The bugs ran a coordinated attack against all the creep members. They're forcing them to leave Bumville. What? Those dirty pieces if of- you want to keep any creeps on your side, you better go and save them. Now. Come on, pal. Let's beat this idea out of those stupid bug heads. I'm down. Uh. What? Yeah, so in the editing, I don't, uh, I think I lost a part of something I thought I was recording. And this is the next uh, clip I had. I don't know how I ended up here. But it was obviously uh, not in. It was obviously not important. Ah, I wish I could stack them. Ooh, these are good. Cool stuff. Cause uh, cool stuff. those propane tanks give you a lot of scrap metal. some other time, okay? What do you want from me? <laughs> I love it when I'm bothering people. <laughs> Just being there. Just my presence is irritating people. What do you do with this? Okay, yeah. Uh, the the chair frames are good. Chair frames and propane tanks are great for uh, scraps. And looky here. Here they are! Go get them, tiger! Ah, <laughs> they threw it on their own. Oh, well, we were just getting started. Oh, yeah, again. That's no medic, but that looks bad. It looked like they actually took Not damage like from it. Creep. Like they actually <laughs> fell backwards. But I still had to hit some Man, twice, you're the so. best. I owe you big time. Yeah. Good job. We won back some respect on the streets. We can yeah. use that to bring creeps into our base. So keep saving them, pal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I about, think dude. We're ready to show Evil Way that they shouldn't have messed with us. Evil Way. However, if you want some more practice first, I suggest locating and taking over some of the bug bases. They got too bold and need to be reminded that the creeps are the true rulers of this city. Hell yeah. 
Simply follow the bug-themed graffiti if you want to find their disgusting nests. I like the graffiti. I like all the graffiti in this game. I I'm a very... What can I do with this body? I'm a very nature-oriented person. Let's see if I can throw this person into the... into the ocean here. No. Bug raid? Okay, so I can ask creeps to handle it, or I can take care of it myself. Alright. Let's take care of it. I got a minute. Let's get back to the base. Okay, so we gotta defend it. Oh, what? I'm still holding this guy? Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So we're on our way. Here we go. Let's save our base. I don't think we're too far away. Here we go. 10 seconds before time. Okay. We'll be ready for this raid. Good that it's scheduled. Okay. Health is up. Head up. Down, Tisha. Take that. But... No, he's. Take it. Uh, I just love aiming for his face. Too good, pal. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so these guys just come and uh, attack your base from time to time, huh? Is my stuff broken? Uh, I definitely need to take more painkillers. It's, it's such a funny mechanism that painkillers revive your health. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I guess life on the street really is that hard. Your health really is, your health really is down, but you're just living on pain relief. You know, like. Fuck what your health really is like. Let's see how relieved you can be from it. <laughs> Ooh, an onion in a trash can. Uh, that's lovely. Emergency rations, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a little more HP, basically. Just upgrading my HP. Cause I was taking a lot of painkillers, right? Yeah, I can hold on to that. For you. Yeah, so I'm just editing out, like, if there's a lot of stuff I'm scrapping, like, you don't have to see each one I'm scrapping. Okay, so I can upgrade. Oh, but I need nails. nails did I need? What else do they have here? Aluminium sheets? How do you make that? And what do you need it for? Cigarettes? Okay, tobacco and paper and I can make cigarettes? I guess that comes later. 
Ooh, okay, that one got hurt. I need like I need an advanced kit. This is all I have, but Wait, how many did I have? Three? Uh Where What am I doing? An aluminium smelter, okay. So that's how you get the aluminium sheets. Dude, this game is a lot bigger. And it has a lot more to offer than I thought. I mean, there's a lot more to wrap your mind around. I thought it was... Well, I, I didn't think it was going to be simplified, but... It's simpler than I... I mean, it's more complex than I anticipated, even still. But for a survival game, this is actually pretty brilliant. Like, it's not too much... And it's not too little. We found the balance just right. Ooh, look at things getting dizzy. I, uh, yeah. And that was a blur transition, of course. The editing. Yeah, the the drunken blurriness doesn't last. Uh, if I was a developer, I would make it last for like a full minute at least. Like, let's. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, try to block it. <laughs> there goes the pigeon. What's up here? Oh, look, there's another gang over there. How do I get to them? See. Shield. They can't kick me in here. Okay, this is my second episode uh, in my uh, Bum Simulator series. And it feels like a second episode, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm more into the game, I'm more into the vibe, I get it more. Uh... Like, I can feel the protagonist, you know what I mean? Ooh, look at that, what is that mushroom? That screams poisonous, but... Should I? What should I? Yeah. My first feather! Yeah, so it takes like... I'm really sorry, I have nothing on me. It takes like a gaming session to kind of get into the game. Especially if you're not used to survival games. But this is like a rock star meets survival. If you know Green Hell, 
Let me just kick some asses here. Where is he? You gotta get close to them. Okay. I think I got him. Why is he still... You okay? So there's another guy around. Why is he so huddling over? Love the graffiti around here. Love this graffiti. I, I just love graffiti in general. Because, you know, it's like, screw it, we didn't make a perfect society, a perfect... Oh, there's the last guy. I was starting to lose hope. You have my thanks. You know? Like, we didn't succeed with the whole creating a perfect metropolitan society thing to begin with it's not the Brady Bunch city that we'd like it to be that'll teach you fuck <laughs> so and I mean I was into graffiti uh, in my teen years uh, I wish uh, I could give more and and beyond. Like, I was into graffiti, like, well into my 20s for a bit. Into my mid-20s. I think I stopped in my mid to late 20s. But, so, like, <coughs> I really get the graffiti um, ethos, let's say. The unwritten rules and... Uh, Try our ultimate burger. The ultimate solution to hunger. Say goodbye to your ultimate hunger. Let's give this a shot. Ooh, okay, that heals a lot. Be sure not to eat anything that's not ultimate. Uh, okay, I'm gonna note that down. Be sure not to eat anything that's the. Okay, that's that heals a lot. It was pricey, but it healed a lot. <laughs> Now, the thing about graffiti, though, it's like, I mean, it's a controversial subject, but hey, there's another gang here. You're gonna regret eh, that shuriken ain't shit. Why is it? What? Okay, I'm holding E. Ah. Oh! So you get more blueprints from finding things in the wild. Now, let's not forget those tires won't recycle. But they've got to be good for something, right? Uh, not today, sorry. Oh, nice! I guess, yeah, about graffiti, so, I mean... One thing very few people realize is that there's a lot of unwritten rules in the world of graffiti. Oh wait, another gang. Let's sneak up on them, get this feather. Nice. Oh, they're so, they're so drunk, they're so easy to sneak up on. <laughs> he threw the bottle the wrong way. They're so wasted. 
just standing around, boy. He's... <laughs> They're just standing there wobbling around. <laughs> These bugs or whatever, they, they make uh, uh, the home life, the, uh, sorry, the homeless lifestyle look fun. <laughs> just standing next to a, a party tent and just wobbling around. In any case, in the graffiti ethos, you're not allowed to... to to paint over another artist's graffiti. Uh, unless you can, you know for sure that your graffiti is gonna be better than theirs. And this rule system, and if you don't follow it, you're gonna get your ass kicked, right? Uh, I, there's so much to this. I can spare a little. Oh, you poor, unfortunate soul. Piss off! This'll teach you a lesson. Yeah, screw you, lady. I, I mean, don't tell me piss off. Calling the cops. Oh, oh! I, did, I just saw him when I started being... But she was rude to me. She was rude. I'm gonna bust your ass. Oh, leave me alone. I... She was rude. I'm homeless. I need money. I was just asking for a penny. Okay, how do I hide without more cops finding me? Okay. He was like, uh, cons no, 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 okay, yeah, here you go. Let's hide, 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 hide. hide. Oh, no! no. <laughs> Didn't you just say we lost him? Dude, that didn't make sense. I really lost them. Now that it's like my second episode here, like like I said, I feel like I'm more in the groove of it. And again, I don't feel like I finished my last uh, topic. Uh, but you know, we're just gonna flow with it. I don't have to finish a topic. Do we really need it? I don't... I really don't know. Just know that if you, we if we were as a society uh, to allow for graffiti, just know that it would... Amongst us graffiti uh, enthusiasts, we would make sure that the art would continuously get better and better. Like, you wouldn't end up with trashy graffiti. You would always end up with better and better and nicer and nicer looking graffiti. Uh, because that's the only rule you can go by. If, you know, the only wall you can find is one with graffiti already on it, and you know that your graffiti is better. Uh, and you can prove it by painting over it and actually making the wild nicer, then you won't get your ass kicked. And uh, you'll be allowed to keep your graffiti up among the community. And that's how you gain your respect and recognition. And, you know, there's a whole... There's a whole RPG, real-life RPG life to graffiti. 
I don't know why I'm talking so much about Christy. I think I made my point. I think that's basically it. Feeling ultimate hunger? Order an ultimate burger to say goodbye to your ultimate hunger. Half my money, but I was pretty badly hurt, so. Whew! Uh, this homeless lifestyle is demanding. Hopefully, that's enough. Hot dogs, hot dogs, yum, yum, yum. Those aren't actual dogs, just so you know. Just a moment. There you go. Stupid hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Carl and his reaction to hot dogs. I'm sorry. That's how I re respond to beggars. I would say I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just can't. Oh. Open up, fuckers! I want my body back. Uh. Oh yeah, my friend wants his brain back as well. Open up or face the wrath of the pigeon master. Uh, can you please stop doing that? Mr. Bones has just installed the new bulletproof doors and windows. He can be quite emotional when it comes to scratching them. Oh, yeah? We'll see how emotional he gets after I scratch his fucking- Do you have an appointment? Of course not! I don't need an appointment to- Oh, no. I'm sorry. I would lose my job if I let anyone in without an appointment. Listen, I'm here to- Why don't you make an official call? If you do it now, I bet I could fit you in for a meeting sometime next month. No way I'm gonna next wait for- Next month. I wish I could be of more help. Goodbye now. Fuck! What now? Any ideas, pal? Uh, yeah, um, that's... If I were you, I'd go away now. Mr. Bones hired new security guards, and they don't seem happy about you being around. Hmm. I can help. Huh? Meet me behind the hospital. Okay. Who was that guy? He was wearing a lab coat. I don't trust guys in lab coats. They remind me of this one time when I lost my body and became a fucking shopping cart. Fun times. Uh, doesn't seem like we have much of a choice, huh? He told us to meet him next to the hospital. Maybe he's just a doctor with a soft spot for bums? You know, free medical service and stuff. Nothing evil, twisted, or dangerous. Like with most of the people we meet. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Let's go see what sort of crazy person we have to deal with this time. Okay. So I just cut to this. I was doing a lot of nonsense. Wasn't worth keeping. It wasn't worth it! It really wasn't!